Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 2 video today. So today I am showing you guys my Sims 2 current household for the month of May and let me tell you, I'm really excited because it's my, actually my first current household in the Sims 2 that I'm showing you guys. So I made this current household about a couple of days ago on a Twitch live stream and I'll have the link down below for you guys to watch the previous live stream that I did so you guys can check it out and what really went down. But let me tell you, things went crazy. So in the back, in that couple of days, I started playing this family off camera and so many things happened. It was really, really crazy. Can I help you? So oh, that's Duncan. Okay. So in the Twitch live stream, we came up with a story and the story was that this family is undercover. They are called the Broke Family. So you don't know what the Broke Family is or who, who they are. They were essentially a town, well, they were townies that were made in The Sims 2 in Pleasant View. And so I thought, you know what, since Skip Broke and Bernie Broke were married, but Skip Broke unsupposedly died some in a weird freak accident, we thought, you know, Brandy Roke was undercover. She ran away from Pleasant View from her old neighborhood and moved to Strange Town to be undercover, make sure that no one knows her, change her identity, change her name. And all of a sudden, like, people started finding out who she was and what was going on. And so she, she decided to go ahead and change her name again. So this is why her name is Jess Parker. So Jess Parker is, quote unquote, Brandy Broke. And then down here is Duncan Parker, who is, is Dustin Broke. And then you know that Brandy Brooke was was supposedly surprisingly pregnant at the time. It was really weird. So I don't know. It was a baby in her belly. And then right here is this child right here. Valentino Parker's was Bo Broke, but now his name is Valentino. And the baby in the belly was was an unborn child and didn't have a name. So once the baby was born, we thought, you know what? Here we go. Felix Parker is the name. We're gonna choose that name. And I played a couple off couple like couple of days off camera so that's why they're all different ages in my last live stream felix was a toddler valentina was a child and duncan was a teenager and jess was an adult at the time so a couple times i, I played this this thing off camera a lot so i'm kind of glad i played it so not a lot a lot of stuff happened what have you work on the engine a little bit kind of, kind of play it a day in a life oh my lord so pretty much this whole family is broke like every single time i try to fix the 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 tub, the sink, the computers in the house, it just completely breaks breaks down in five seconds. I honestly just don't know. They're honestly broke. Broke. Like, I just don't understand how they were able to, like, afford this house when they were broke, but they only have a thousand simoleons to their name. Hmm, that's lovely. But Brandy Broke learned, well, Jess Parker's learned a lot of stuff in her lifetime as she got older and wiser and started learning new things as she got better in life. So she earned a couple simoleons every now and then but she's all good but she's heading off to work right now i might have her retire i'm gonna have her retire right now because she doesn't really need a job <laughs> she's gonna go to do a freelance so let's gonna go over to the, to the thing right here go to work and go and retire because we just leave retire from job she's actually i think she was in level three of her career which is really great so now she gets only 100 simoleons 102 simoleons per daily and one of her good traits were actually a creative trait, great creativity. So she was able to like paint a lot and do a lot of paintings and that would allow her to make some money that way. So I'm going to have her continue painting for the rest of her life. Oh no, retirement. So she's on retirement leave. So it says once it was work, 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 but now not anymore. Golden years, here I come. <laughs> oh Lord, help me please. But yeah, so that's pretty much what happened there. And she has learned a lot in her, in her lifetime. It's like she was on the run from like the police and the security people. And now she's like living on retirement of 102 simoleons a daily. And she's painting for her life. And that's what she wanted to do for the rest of her life. For Duncan, on the other hand, well, Duncan, aka Dustin broke. He has been, he, you know, he his, his grades has been slipping a lot lately. And... I had helped him work on that. He was a D level, but now he's a B plus level. He's on his way to college, actually. And he met this cute girl named Kendall, I believe. Yeah, Kendall Lawson. And she's one of his, one of his girlfriends, one, yeah, actually one of his girlfriends, but only his actual one girlfriend that he actually knows that he really does, he, he really does love. And one day he wants to propose to her, go on a date and see what she's like. But today is a good day because whose birthday is it? It's Felix's birthday. He'll be turning into a teenager today. And that's going to be a lot of fun. 
I'm going to get to Felix in a second here for his little storyline here. So for Valentino, he was a very good student when he was younger. He's right now an A-plus student in high school, but he has really been working on his body skill for the past seven, seven years for now. And so that's why he actually has almost level 10 in the body skill. And that's why he has a membership to one of the local gyms as of right now for tinkering, but mostly for fitness. He has a fitness membership at the, what, where is it called? The Platinum Gym. So you can talk about fitness, go jogging, make protein shakes, read healthy sec, read the healthy section, browse a web about fitness, and share hobby tips about fitness as well. He wants to be trim and toned for the rest of his life. And then for little Mr. Felix here, the one, the only, who is the pride and joy of Jess Parkers. He is honestly the key, the prime time, the most successful child I've ever played with my entire lifetime. You guys have been playing with, you guys have not, I, have, I haven't shown you guys on what he has done in the live stream though, but he has done a lot. He has a really good sense of art and talent and music and dance. And that's why his mom just bought him this bar. He wanted to be a, a dancer when he grew up. Well, he when he grows up. And I honestly think he should become a dancer or whatever he wants to be. He, he has a really good sense of art. That's why he has a membership to the music and dance studio at My Muse. He wants to become a groove master. Hmm. Nice, nice, and mighty nice. And he needs to be, be in the zone and then instruct in music and dance. So I guess he wants to become like a, a music and dance instructor when he gets older, like, like around a teenager time. But we need to go ahead and actually purchase ourselves a little birthday cake for Felix because he ages up today. And when they move, when they have moved to Strange Town, well, of course we actually live in Strange Town now, which is pretty great. I love the I love the little area we live in. It's very secluded and very, you know, old. <laughs> so they thought, you know what, become that nice normal life, that good old American life. Let's go ahead and uh, adopt a dog. So they did. Jess bought, well, adopted of an adult dog named Cleo, and Cleo is a good, I would say, somewhat well-trained dog. It's not an adult. It doesn't have a job at all yet, but I want to get a purchase. I want to get a job for Cleo soon, but I don't know what the traits are for Cleo. Wait, where is that? Oh, she has learned, come here, play dead, and roll over as well as speak. She doesn't know any required commands for a promotion, but she has learned those for, wait, yeah, those four commands as of right now, and where she's still learning some new clans as she gets older, but I don't want her to die soon because she's been with the family for a long, long time now. So I need to have, I'm going to, I'm going to praise you for using, oh wait, no, scold you for sim, using Sims bed because that's a big, giant, flat out no-no. I'm going to teach you how to stay as well. I'm going to scold you. You have a pet bed. You have a, you have a bed outside. It's like, no, 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 do not sit on the pet bed. That's wrong. You have a pet bed outside. But she's, I mean, we're st she's still learning. She is still learning how to cope with um, the new world, the new the little area around here. So let's go ahead and buy a birthday cake. So this whole video is pretty much a day in the life of the Parker's family and how they're kind of progressing on with life and what they're doing. Only have a thousand simoleons to their name. I mean, we're living, we're living large. We're living life to the luxury. We're doing great. We're doing awesome. We haven't been arrested yet. So, <laughs> let me tell you a little bit of a story what happened here. So we almost got a, well, we didn't get arrested yet though. Oh, I want to buy this birthday cake actually. So what happened was <laughs> Child Protective Services came to our house three times in a row. It was hilarious it cracked me up so much that child protective services came to our house three times to take away felix and valentino from our house because the only reason why is because in the sims 2 when you're when an adult or a teenager is not at the house and because children cannot be cannot be unsupervised in the house because they're young and they're they can't be they have to be supervised of course and so what happened, they came over trying to take away our children. And I was like, no, 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 let's not do that. So I, I deleted the so social worker, saved my game mul multiple times, and it worked. And now they're still here. They aged up, and they're all doing rather well. But man, oh, man, we were having a fun time with that. And then the police came over saying, um, so, ma'am, I hear you have some children. I hear you're, um... Like, we're doing this investigation. Like, have you seen this woman? They literally showed a picture of Brandy Broke. And I was like, um, they, no, they, they literally came knocking on our door saying, knock, 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 hello. And Jess Parker came knock, came to the door and, um, 
she said, um, hello, officer, can I help you? And I said, yeah, sure. We were just running around the neighborhood, going around, seeing what was going on. And they said, they, they pulled out this picture out of their um, little briefcase or whatever. And they hold up this picture saying, um, so have you seen this woman? They, she's Brandy, her name is Brandy Broke. She's last seen in Pleasant View, age 32, with two kids and a child to be. And she was like, no, I haven't seen, I haven't seen Brandy Broke. I don't know who Brandy Broke is. Never, don't recall the name. Don't know who that is. Never seen, never heard. Don't know who that is at all. And they said, but you kind of look like Brandy Broke a little bit. Are you sure you don't ha know her? And she said, yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't know her at all because she's not my cousin, not my sister, not at all. Don't know who she is. And then the police officer said, um, do you mind if I step inside and kind of look around the house, you know, something like that? And, it, and she said, not a problem. I have nothing to hide. It's okay, officer. Let's go around my house, see what you got to find. And they found nothing. <laughs> Best believe it, they did not find a darn thing, but... <laughs> You know, it's it's all good. It's all good. So can we light the candles yet? Oh, blow all the candles. Okay. We need to have everyone come down here. It's a birthday. It's birthday time. Go down here. Everyone come down here. Come on, please. But yeah, like I said, the police officer didn't find anything in the house. The cops, the lawyers, the journalists, like the newspaper almost came to our house as well. They didn't find anything at all as well, which is good. But overall, overall... Everything is great. No no lawsuits. No crime has been committed yet. But <laughs> we killed someone. And in the process, one of our children died. That's right. One of our children died. Because apparently, we had another child with one of our secret lovers that we were kind of hanging out with during the time. And then one of our children died, named Riley Parker, died in the process from youngness. And she was a toddler. A legit toddler. Riley Parker was a toddler and died. She died from electrocution. <laughs> I'm shocked and appalled. Like, literally, it was like electrocution and then a fire started and then she died that way. What? I'm honestly just shocked and appalled right now. But still, Toby um, Buring was the father of Riley and that happened there. So I'm pretty upset, pretty appalled. I'm just shocked and triggered all at the same time. So maybe that's why... All of our stuff is breaking inside the house. And that tells us we need to leave, get out of here, change a new location. Oh, wait, I'm missing it. Oh, <gasps> I'm missing. Okay, I need, to get picture, I need to get a picture of this. I'm missing everything. Oh, my goodness. Why did you guys not tell me? He was taking pictures. Okay, I got to get my pictures here. Oh, my gosh. He's aging up into a teenager. And then soon, next time you'll see a new current household update, you'll see Duncan in college. And then we'll be able to see his college adventures, see what he's doing, and stuff like that. Are you whistling? Ooh. Is everyone coming to the... Where is... Ev okay, yo. Where is everyone at? People need to... Wait. Watch. Okay, you're going to watch him blow out the candles. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Get out of bed. Watch him too. What are you doing too? What are you doing, Valentino? You're going to go over here and watch him. Yes. Oh, oh. Is, wait, is he waiting for everyone to come down here? I hope he is. Because it's like 7 p.m. Please... No! He didn't even blow... Wait, I don't... He didn't even blow his candle, though, because that's a bit of a pain. But I'm going to get a picture of this right here. Yep, right there. Yep. There we go. Much better. Okay. I want to I see it. Ooh! You guys saw it first. He aged up to it. Oh, wow. He looks very handsome. Felix Parker, you have aged up well. Dancer to be. Dancing instructor to be. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about him. So Felix Parker is no longer a child. What will he aspire to? So he is, he wants to become a dancing instructor, a groove master. And so I was thinking that he could probably end up using the pleasure aspiration, but then I was thinking the popularity, because with the popularity, it says that he can, I want to read what this says. I can't read what it says. Well, that's messed up. Well, I guess it says like he wants to achieve the art career, I guess, in college. But then the knowledge one is also good too. But you can also learn, you can also learn dancing in college as she gets older. So I'm going to choose the popularity one as he gets, you know, get, get popularity in, in high school. So not makeup. Well, what is this one? This one is full face makeup. No, his turn ons will be, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm, what is he, what is he into? Oh, he he's, he's into actually hard worker. He's into heart workers. He's also into, as well as 
Athle oh, no, 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 no. Creativity, creative. And then he hates stink. Wait, no, not cologne. He hates, where's the stink one? Where's it at? Can't find it. Hmm. His turnoffs are just, I'm going to just say cologne. Why not? Why not? There we go. Good enough. Good enough for me. So, oh, Sam Samuel Riley is actually one of his best friends. We'll age him up too. We'll age him up. He met him at school. That's pretty great. Is he one of his friends actually? Is he? No, he's not. Oh, it's just someone in the town. You know what? Same. Wow. Same um pajamas there. So, I like to live more than a mediocre, mediocre life. Let's hope I can make this next proportion of my life better. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope so. So let me see. I want to check his aspiration here. Because I'm not sure what it says. So he needs to have a lifespan aspiration. So his aspiration meter says one of the gang and this his lifetime one is to have at least 20 similar pet best friends. What? That's messed up. I don't understand what that means. That's okay. That's good. That's good with me. But I need to find something. Oh, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Benefits. Benefits. Okay, he has four of them that he actually can do. He can actually get life of luxury. He can also get hospitality. Being outgoing and generous to them that you are, you're always welcome to quick of new friends in your home, and you're more likely to find, bring home a friend from work or school. We'll get that one. Bam. Popularity. Fast friends. That's how we do it in The Sims. For you, your aspiration was romantic. So I will go ahead and get yourself a second aspiration. Ooh, the cheese, the grilled cheese aspiration. But I also want to get you the fortune one. That'd be kind of good. So skilled ne negotiator, slow need decay for fun, and then financial advice for cash. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Three-way call. No, no, no. What is this? Chicken grandma comfort soup. And then plead to, with social work. Oh, <laughs> okay. So with him, with, with Valentino, I feel like he's going to be that one father who actually ends up being that one kid who ends up being, he, he gets his kids taken away from him for one, for something. I don't know why, but I feel like that happens to him. Ooh, going to him. I'm going to make, we can totally do that for Jess, actually. I'm going to get this one for her as well. The, wait, where's that? Where's that? Mm. I guess I can go and get her the knowledge one to just learn some stuff in her life when she gets older. So I'll get those. Oh, get those right there. She has two more comfort and then we'll get this one right here. So that should be good. And I want to get this one. Right here. Well, she doesn't need it. And this one's super fertility. Ooh, that one's pretty good, but she won't need it actually because she's already an old fart lady. And then for Duncan, for him, I want him to have a good steady relationship with Kendall. So I want to get him the family aspiration for him. And I'm going to get all those for him right here. So you can gather all that stuff up there. And then massive attraction. So if there's one thing you know how to do is to strike up a conversation with a hot stranger. Using the combination or of psychology, wit, and sheer animal magnetism, you can create a large boost of chemistry with a sim you meet. Okay. And then low, low need decay for hygiene. And then local legend. And then smooth talk. But then we also have this. So I want him to have a sex, uh, successful career. So I'll go ahead and need use this for work. And if her family is all maxed out from Duncan, that's good. So everyone is pretty much maxed out, which is all great. I'm happy that they are all maxed out. He, for Duncan, I need to work on his body skill for him to get under the scholarship for college. Because right now they're, they're a little bit tight on cash and they're a little bit tight on money. So they don't really have a lot of money to really kind of use. Technically, so I'm going to have him repair this real quick. I need him to sign a scholarship online. Okay, stop that. Stop everything. College. Apply for scholarship. I'm, go I'm, go I'm literally going to show you guys what happens. You saw him repair the computer. He sits down on the computer. Okay, here we go. Watch. Just watch it happen. Watch. Just watch it happen. Okay. So, it says Duncan has no qualified. So, he, he needs to work on his... He needs to work on school a little bit more to get that A plus or higher, well A minus or, or higher to get that scholar grant, and then also a high body skill for him, extraterrestrial. No, so you can only get the SimCity scholar grant or the Horian um, athletic scholarship here. So we did work on those two right there. Watch it, just watch it break. Watch it break. Bam, it broke. So Riley has that on the lot. She will return in the spirit to place her at rest. So we're gonna move her. We're gonna move her to i'm gonna move her to the let's see 
I'm going to move her to Pete's Pets. Why not? <gasps> oh, there's Riley. Oh, Riley Parker, there she is. Oh, oh well. That's sad. Oh, well, that's fine. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and wrap up this part because I think that Valentino's in the bath. We're going to go and repair this right here because it's broken. See, Duncan is actually the mechanic in the family because he is pretty much handy with everything right now. I'm going to mop up this mess. It's really messy in here. And have repaired this as well. And then I think we're going to head, head things off. But yeah, like I said, this whole this whole family is dysfunctional. The broke family, quote unquote, Parker family, is really, really broken. Really dysfunctional and just don't know how to live their life. So hopefully the next current house update you'll see is when we are in college with Duncan. Or either we're just living someone's life. I know Jess is going to be dead by then. Or we might be, we might actually focus on Felix's family. I don't know. We'll, we'll actually see in the next current household update. He might have a friend in, in high school he might meet one day, but who knows what will happen in the long run. So, either way, I'm going to wrap up this little video right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know anything down in the comments below as always. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!